Hey guys, this is Will from loopsandworship.com and I just want to take a quick second to show you how you could create a custom preset folder in Ableton Live. Now this is a great tool for speeding up your production process uh, and it's a way to save some of your favorite sounds from Live's library into a folder that you can access across all your live projects. So for today we're going to be hanging out in Live's browser and to get to Live's browser we go over to the left hand side of our screen and we want to press the show hide browser button and that's going to open up Live's browser. Now the browser is a place that we can access files, devices, um, things built into Live's library. And we're going to work from our device browser. That's our first button here under our show hide button. And we have three folders by default built into um, our device browser. We have our instruments folder, MIDI effects folder, and audio effects folder. Now what's great about creating a custom preset folder is we can create a folder within each of these folders if we wanted um, that could store our favorite audio effects, our favorite MIDI effects, and our favorite instruments. So what I want to do is work in my instruments folder for now. And I'm going to go into my instrument rack. And let's say, just for instance, I'm working on a project where I need a piano key sound. And uh, let's do a acoustic piano. So I'm going to drag in Grand Hall because I feel like you know I've used this before. It's a good starting place. I can listen to my sound. Okay, it kind of works. I want to tweak a couple things, though, to make it kind of my own. So I'm going to bring my reverb down a little bit, increase my attack time, shorten my release time, turn my volume up. Let's add a little motion and change the color of it okay so let's say i really like this piano sound um, it's got a cool you know kind of vibe to it really chill sounding piano and let's say a couple months from now i'm working on a project and i know okay a few months ago i used this really cool chill sounding piano um but i can't remember exactly where it is or what i did with it then i'd have to go through a couple different live sets, try to find that sound, it would take forever. So what I can do is create a custom presets folder within my instrument rack folder um, that's gonna save sounds that I like. And uh, I'm gonna actually rename this device so that I know what type of sound it is so that when I go to my custom presets folder, then I can really quickly access all those different sounds. So first off, before we create a folder, I'm gonna go to my device here, click on my device title bar, I'm gonna right click and select rename. And then I'm going to name this so that I know what type of piano it is. And I'm going to put Chill Piano. That gives me a good enough idea as to what type of sound I want. So I rename my, my piano sound to Chill Piano. It gives me a good idea of what I have. Then what I want to actually do is go up and create a custom preset folder. So I'm going to right click on my instrument rack here within my device browser and select Create Folder. And I'm going to create a Favorites folder. Okay, so this is where I can store all my favorites. Now, within my favorites folder, I still want to have a little bit of classification there, a little bit of a way to know what type of sound I'm working with. So I'm going to right click on my favorites folder and then select create folder. And let's do a piano folder. So now what I have is a folder within instrument racks that saves all my favorites and then a folder within it that is piano sound. So I'm going to take chill piano and I'm going to right click on my save or excuse me, just press my save button and that's going to save this preset chill piano right now it's saved under my acoustic piano settings which could work but I want to put it in my favorites folder so I'm just going to click and drag and drop it right in my piano folder that's within favorites so now what I could do is every time I'm working in a project I could go to my favorites folder click on my piano folder and then there's my chill piano sound and now when I drag that into a live set it's going to automatically load up those same sounds that I used before so that's the beauty of creating a favorites or a custom folder that you can use uh, to save all your sounds in. Now what's great about this is you can create folders within any device within live. So I could go to a drum rack and within drum racks I could create a folder that's favorite drum racks. And then all my favorite drum racks I could save to that folder and then any live project I'm working on I can access those from the library. What's cool about this as well is you can also do this with audio effects. So I could work and uh, tweak and create a filter sound that I really like, create a folder and make it my favorites for filter stuff. And then anytime I need a filter I could go into this favorites folder and drag in that sound that I like. So that's really really useful and again that's going to save you tons of time and going to save you tons of effort of trying to find those sounds that you used a few months ago that you really enjoyed. So check that out. Create a couple folders in a couple different places in the browser and uh, store all of your favorite sounds and effects there and you'll see how much that speeds up your production process and how much more fun and enjoyable it is to work in live.